everyone, my name is Lily. I've been a nurse for five years and I'm about to start medical school soon. I wanted to make this video because every time that I've told anyone that I'm about to start medical school, especially if they are in the healthcare profession already, whether they're radiology technicians or other registered nurses, they would tell me that, oh, they thought about going to medical school, but insert long list of excuse, such as I'm too old, I have too many kids, I don't have enough time, um, it's too hard. So I just wanted to make this video to kind of outline the process that I took to go about this really large goal. When I graduated from my nursing degree five years ago, I started working as a cardiology nurse um, on the floor of Mayo Clinic Hospital in Rochester, Minnesota. It was such an amazing job, and if you're gonna do floor nursing anywhere, Mayo Clinic is such an amazing place to do it. You will learn so much, and it was an incredible time. I met so many amazing people, I made lots of friends. In particular, I had a friend who was a nurse who knew that she was eventually going to apply to medical school. Now, when I first met her, in my head, I thought that was just so insane. Like, why would you go to become a nurse only just to go and do something super hard and become a doctor? It just sounded so out of this world to me. She was a huge inspiration to me. And after about a year and a half on the floor, I knew that I wanted to know more. I wanted to be able to walk in a patient's room and be able to provide the kind of relief that I felt whenever a physician walked in a room and I was the nurse and my patient was crashing. So I just wanted to know more and to learn more. And honestly, you just don't know the things that you don't know. And I knew that medical school would give me the opportunities and resources to learn more and know more so that I can provide more to my patients. This is about a year and a half into my nursing career that I decided, okay, what do I need to do to apply to medical school in general? I had no idea. Of course, the first thing you need to do is take a look at your transcripts and see what kind of courses you need to take to eventually apply to medical school. As a nurse, I actually never took college chemistry. Applying to my nursing school, they didn't require it. So I had to take general chemistry one and two, organic chemistry one and two, physics one and two, and also biochemistry. Those were the rest of the prerequisites that I needed to um, actually apply to the medical schools that I was interested in applying to. I decided for myself that I was not going to take on a full-time load as a student again, that I wanted to work full-time, save money, and take maybe one class a semester. I knew the prereq timeline would take me about three years, which really didn't bother me because I truly enjoyed my job. Luckily for me, I was able to find community college courses that were offered one day a week with a lab. So I took my chemistry courses on a Friday and worked throughout the week as a nurse. And as a nurse, I can work 12 hour shifts. So I'd work three days a week and then I'd have my chemistry lecture and lab on a Friday. So I did that for a couple years until um, biochemistry and physics. So biochemistry, physics one and physics two, I did fully online. I'm going to leave links in the description box as to where I completed those online courses if you're interested in looking into that option. For me, I could not find physics and biochemistry courses that were accessible to me while working full time, so I chose the online route. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to community college and online prerequisites for medical school. But for me personally, it worked so well with my schedule as I was working full time. So don't throw those options away. I'm going to be starting an MD school in a couple of weeks and I only applied once. This is my first application. So it's not impossible to get into medical school if you're taking online courses or community college courses. If you are in healthcare, you need to utilize the people who are around you. Get to know people, put yourself out there, introduce yourself, let everybody know that you are trying to apply to medical school. Because in the end, when you put that out in the universe, the universe really conspires to help you. And I really felt like 
what got me here wasn't what I did on my own. I had so much help, so much support from the people around me. So don't underestimate your social network. So if you're a healthcare worker and you want to go to medical school, you can do it. Map out your prerequisite timeline. For me, I wrote like spring 2016, fall 2016, spring 2017, fall. You know, like map it out per semester, insert those prereqs that you're gonna be taking, see how long it'll take you and don't be daunted by it because the time will pass anyway. I'm five years out from my undergraduate I'm about to start medical school. I cannot be happier. I remember when I got my MCAT results last year and I was just thinking, there is no way I can apply to an MD school with that score. And someone on a Reddit forum told me that you lose 100% of the shots that you don't take. And that has just stuck with me so much. And I just wanna share that with everyone because it's so true. I'm so glad that I didn't pass up the chance to apply to medical school this year because I got in on my first try. And I just wanna share with people who are out there that are non-traditional, especially if you work in healthcare and you want to go this route, it's not going to be easy, but it's totally going to be worth it. Don't go to work every day thinking, what if I went to medical school or what if I applied to medical school? Just do it. If that's what you want, go for it.